forest and environmental issues such as deforestation, climate change, rising population growth, and resource misuse make addressing these challenges essential and drive innovation based on research, technology, and a commitment to environmental stewardship. Universitas Tanjung Pura, through the Faculty of Forestry, is committed to addressing the challenges of sustainable forest resource management by offering the Bachelor of Forestry Study program. Welcome to the Bachelor of Forestry Study program at Universitas Tanjung Pura. Established in 2008, our program aims to produce graduates who are experts in forestry, conservation, and natural resource management. Our strategies include a curriculum based on the Indonesian National Occupation Qualification Framework Level 6, outcome based education, and continuous monitoring of scientific advancement and stakeholder needs. We are also excited about expanding our national and international partnership through new collaboration in both academic and non academic fields. The Bachelor of Forestry Study Program, Faculty of Forestry at Universitas Tanjung Pura, has been accredited with Excellent or Baik Sekali at the national level by the National Accreditation Board for Higher Education. This study program focuses on the management of tropical wetland and peatland forest ecosystems, aiming to produce professional foresters, develop relevant research, and contribute to the community through service and sustainable partnerships. The bachelor's program in forestry is divided into four main areas of study, namely forest management, forest cultivation, forest products technology, and forest resource conservation and ecotourism. In order to provide support for the learning activities in these four areas of interest, Several buildings in the Faculty of Forestry have been equipped with facilities used for lectures, laboratories, and administrative activities. The provision of an optimal learning environment for undergraduate forestry students is facilitated by the availability of laboratory facilities, which include The Biomaterials Laboratory is a research facility that specializes in the development of wood-based and non-wood-based materials. These materials include natural fibers, bamboo, and biocomposites. The laboratory's primary focus is on the research and development of environmentally friendly industrial innovations. Silviculture and Forest Product Biotechnology Laboratory specializes in the following areas forest cultivation techniques, plant regeneration, tissue culture, and tree breeding. The laboratory's primary objective is to enhance forest productivity in a sustainable manner. Forest Products Chemistry Laboratory specializes in the analysis of the chemical composition of wood and non-wood forest products, including essential oils, resins and tannins. The laboratory also focuses on the development of products derived from natural compounds, the Forestry Planning and Information Systems Laboratory focuses on applying GIS technology and remote sensing methodologies for forest mapping, spatial planning analysis, and data-driven forestry planning. The Forest and Watershed Hydrology Laboratory is dedicated to the study of forestry's role in the hydrological cycle, soil and water conservation, and the mitigation of hydrometeorological disasters the Wood Workshop and Forest Products Craft Laboratory focuses on two key areas, wood processing techniques and the utilization of non-timber forest products. In addition, we specialize in the design and production of crafts based on forest resources for various creative industries. In addition to the Natural Laboratory, which includes the Arboretum Silva Universitas Tanjung Pura, covering 2.7 hectares, and a forest area with special purposes, covering 19,662 hectares. This area is used for field practice, research, and the preservation of genetic resources of important forestry species for ex-situ conservation. 
to support the teaching and learning process for both students and lecturers. The bachelor's program in forestry offers a variety of facilities, both academic and non-academic, for their use, including there are 24 classrooms, each equipped with a projector, whiteboard, air conditioning, and internet connection to provide comfort in the teaching and learning process. The administration office that provides academic services for students, working collaboratively across all functional units, the staff manages every operational aspect, ensuring comprehensive service and a highly supportive learning environment. The library facility provides students and lecturers with a wide range of resources to support research, learning, and academic development. Reading space that can be used by students for studying or group meetings. The Silva Trigona Farm is a specialist facility focused on the sustainable cultivation of stingless bees, or Trigona SPP, for the production of honey products and the education of students in the utilization of sustainable resources. The Silva Media Center is equipped with a media room, photo studio, and the Silva Podcast Studio, offering students the opportunity to enhance both their soft and hard skills in the media field. In addition, the premises are equipped with facilities that are accessible for individuals with disabilities. In order to ensure the safety of students, the following measures are in place. Fire extinguishers, evacuation routes, and assembly points, and other supporting facilities. program in forestry consists of many outstanding educators or lecturers with extensive research expertise in the fields of forestry and the environment. Based on the established vision and mission, graduates of the forestry study program are prepared to pursue careers as forestry professionals, environmental advocates, academics, and policy makers who contribute to sustainable resource management and ecosystem protection. Hello, my name is Agusti Randi. I am a forester by education and over the past 15 years I have dedicated my professional life to the study and conserve of tropical forests, especially through the lenses of plant taxonomy, botany ecosystem restoration and biodiversity conservation. I was enrolled as an undergraduate student in 2007 at Faculty of Forestry, Tanjungpura University, a place that laid my foundation for my deep connection to the forest. When I was in university, actually I'm not a student who is good at academics, but interestingly I still get extraordinary support from lecturers and faculty for self-development. I'm sure that Untan's forestry graduates will be much better than I. And more importantly, my deepest gratitude to the Faculty of Forestry, Tanjungpura University, along with all lecturers and staffs who have been an important part in forming and guiding me when I was still young. What I've achieved now is inseparable from what I received when I studied there. Thank you very much. My name is Herman Suparman Simanjunta an alumnus of the Faculty of Forestry at Tanjung Pura University, Untan, class of 2008. I majored in forest product technology. Currently, I serve as a green manager at the Indonesian Biodiversity Foundation, Kehati, based in Jakarta. I am involved in the Tropical Forest Conservation Act, TFCA Kalimantan Program, which fund a range of initiatives aimed at conserving 
Tropical Forest in Kalimantan. My academy background continues to support my work in addressing real world, world challenge. I am proud and grateful to have been part of the Faculty of Forestry and at Untan. Hello everyone, my name is Palguna Wiranata. I am an alumnus of Forestry Faculty in Universitas Tanjungpur. I started my studies back in 2016 and graduated in 2020. And after that, I working at private sector for about three years. And currently, I pursuing my master degree in forestry science in Universitas Gajah Mada. And I got a scholarship from LPDP. Last but not least, one of my favorite achievements was being named as the winner of Mahasiswa Prestasi in Forestry Faculty in Universitas Pura in 2018. The knowledge and experience that I gained when I was a student in Forestry Faculty in Universitas Tanjungpura helped me a lot uh, to build my character and also my expertise, which is biodiversity, conservation, ecotourism based. And that helped me to conduct some research and exploring some national parks in Indonesia. Collaboration with strategic partners is also carried out to support research activities, resource development, and the improvement of educational quality in the forestry study program. This collaboration strengthens various facilities and opportunities available for students and lecturers. The bachelor's program in forestry also hosts regular activities, such as public lectures with experts and practitioners. These are known as the Ramin series and Pulai series, where we dive into important discussions on forestry and environmental issues. When I first discovered this field, I am immediately drawn to the faculty vision and mission that revolves around sustainability and environmental conservation. Throughout my studies here, I have gained not only scientific knowledge, but also practical skills from numerous field projects. The faculty itself also often organize joint studies with students from other universities, both national and international. And moreover, our lecturers, they not only teach about science or field skills, but they also encourage us as students to also improve our personal development. I get some opportunity to learn not only from experienced lecture, but also through various academic development program at the both national and international levels. Such as, I get opportunity to representing my faculty and university going to big event to have learned. This experience has become a strong foundation for me as I work towards building a better career in a forest sector. All of this is designed to shape future forestry professionals who contribute to environmental preservation, natural resource management, and impactful forestry policies in line with the motto of the forestry faculty, glorious in the forest, influential in the city.